Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2, where my partner, John Coleman, and I get time to speak with Manny Pacheco, the, the raconteur of things forgotten in Hollywood. <laughs> well, not everything is forgotten, Manny. I remember mm -hmm. lots of lots of great movies from uh, my youth, including the classic Rock Around, uh, the, the, the song mm -hmm. was Rock Around the Clock, uh, what was the movie? Oh, Blackboard was, Jungle. Uh, Blackboard Jungle. Blackboard Jungle, yeah. Thank you. Blackboard Jungle. I, so that made me think about school films. They, they, school has always been a, a challenging subject for filmmakers. It's been the source of comedy and drama like Blackboard Jungle. Um, yeah. Sometimes controversy. I, I think of uh, To Sir With Love. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But how far back do school films go? Oh, they go way back into the silent era. I mean, the, the, one of the more celebrated films, of course, was Harold Lloyd and The Freshman. Uh, and um, and in the is that where he plays football or something? I I, um, I believe so. Um, but you know, he gets to go to school and gets to wear his bespeckled look, yes. and of course, he yeah. looks like a student. And, and and in real life, he was a, he was quite an athlete, and he was really well defined as as a, a, a almost like a bodybuilder. But he always hid that with you know with these really kind of bigger clothes, and he made yeah. it look like he was more of a meek type of guy. And but that that made his stunts more exciting i also think of course the marx brothers uh, one of my favorite movies about school and that's uh, horse feathers and uh, wow i just i just loved that film i mean there was the uh, there was the school widow that was played by thelma todd and i just love that a school widow what could that mean <laughs> i wonder <laughs> Uh, but that was pre-code, so they could get away with something yeah. like that. Well, what about yeah. something like, uh, uh, wasn't uh, Rooney, uh, like in about a thousand, it seems to be a thousand high school movies? Sure. He was always <laughs> there. Andy Hardy, all the Andy Hardy films. Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> that of makes course. sense, Art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you weren't talking about Mara Rooney, but yeah. Or <laughs> Mickey Rooney, of course, right. was in all the Andy Hardy, Hardy films. and. Right. Uh, you know, very popular as that young, popular kid. In fact, so popular that for a number of years, he was the top male actor uh, uh, based on box office. No kidding. Yeah, and because of those Andy Hardy series, the Andy Hardy series arguably was the most successful series of films ever made. More popular than Sherlock Holmes and Tarzan really? and even James Bond. Wow. Yeah, so yes, the idea of that... Uh, student Andy Hardy and all of his little love interests with Lana Turner and Judy Garland and the like. Yeah, that uh, they, they were very, very popular. Yeah, mm. what about all of those films, I, I wanna say in the 60s, but I don't remember the, the real date, but they were all um, teen angst high school films. Oh, like Rydell High, uh, Bye Bye Birdie. Oh, oh, that's yeah, a musical. Yeah. Birdie's a good example. A lot of those films, you're right, they're all students, but I don't know that they take place necessarily at a school. I know well, that. I was uh, thinking uh, uh, the Breakfast Club. You know, they. they well, that's they, the they, 1980s. I mean, you were talking the 1960s, and the 1960s. About the only thing I can think of that actually took place in a school was, of course, where uh, all the students trained to become uh, musicians in the Music Man, and in fact, that's where the whole. You Got Trouble, 76 Trombones mm -hmm. scene takes place at the school sure. gym. And of course, sure. if you think about that, where the, uh, in West Side Story, where the Jets and the, uh, and the Sharks meet up in the, for the dance, and is in the school gym. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what about, what about Risky Business? Uh, Again, the 1980s. You guys want to jump that far? That's fine. What well, hey, uh, we're talking high school here. We're talking high school and here. And back to the 60s, yeah. yeah. But in the 80s, I mean, I think that that whole Chicago group of kids, um, led by Molly Ringwald and yep. and um, let's say uh, 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 Emilio Estevez, sure, and uh, the like, J J Judd Judd uh, Nelson. All those, 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 what they called the, um, let's see, what were they called? The Brat Pack. The Brat Pack. 
Yeah. And they made a, a series of, of great, really teen dramas that took place in school, and the most famous of which was The Breakfast Club. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and But there was um, uh, Pretty in Pink and uh, a oh, whole yeah. bunch of... What was the name of the director who did most of those? John Hughes. John Hughes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, he yeah. didn't live very long, but he made some very influential teen movies and created a whole look and sound that became the 80s yeah. look and sound. I mean, yeah. it, I, and you're, I think you're right. They weren't necessarily about school. No, uh, the Breakfast right. Club was. They're in detention. And, yeah. and, and Pretty in Pink does end up in school. I mean, they, they're going to the prom, you know, that kind of thing. Sure. Well, I, there's always I, I, the classic Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that is abs. I mean, really. I mean, you know, the principal. I mean, I can't think of the guy who plays him, but he's ab uh, Mr. Rooney. Mr. Yes. Rooney was the was Gets the stuck principal. in the doggy door. Yeah. Oh he's, my gosh, he's such he, a villain. He's, he's a guy. That, he's a guy. Right. Isn't he the guy? Oh no, he's not the guy that became the uh, uh, the uh, financial wizard on one of the programs. That was another. Uh, yeah, I don't know name, but Mr. Rooney, that was his yeah. character's name, and he was just absolutely the perfect comedic foil. Yes. He rides that school bus, and of course, he sees things like Rooney socks. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a gummy? It's been in my pocket, and it's really nice and warm. And wow. the look on his face is like, oh. You, you know, uh, Manny, there there were, I, uh, that I remember, only a few movies about. Um, about the the act about the pardon me the teachers, mm -hmm. the most famous of which is uh, Goodbye Mr. Chips. Yes, that's right, and it was and, done in the 1930s, uh, yeah. 1939 with uh, uh, Robert Donat, and he won an Oscar for his role as that teacher. Yeah. And of course, it was remade in the 60s uh, with Peter O'Toole. I don't think it was as good because they forced Peter O'Toole to sing, and he just did not have a voice. But the, but you know, Petula Clark's in it, and it's a it's a great great film. But if you want to talk about my favorite teacher of all time on film, it's got to be Mr. Hand from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Oh, with Ray, Ray <laughs> Walston and his relationship with the surfer Spicoli. Oh, yes. priceless! Spicoli. Absolutely priceless, Mr. Hand. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's great. I of just course. love Fast. By the way, Fast Times at Ridgemont High filmed at Van Nuys High School. Just so you Real? know. Oh, you mean your alma mater? Yes, absolutely. Right. So yeah, I, I have a special place in my heart for Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And um, by the way, getting back to those Brat Pack things, that was the depiction of school life in the Midwest, specifically in the Chicago suburbs. Yeah. So just so you know that there was a specific intention. John Hughes was from the suburbs of Chicago. He wanted to showcase that. And he found some really great, talented kids to be able to tell that story really, really well. So I, yeah. I did want to mention that as well. And just, for our know, audience, just for our audience, um, because we've been doing a lot of decade hopping here, uh, for sure, we at least honorable mention should go to Greece. Well, geez, absolutely. I mean, you, you and you had some great, I mean, old timers joining in on the fun with uh, Olivia Newton John and, and, and John Travolta. You had Eve Arden as the principal. Yep. Our uh, Miss Brooks. A, what's that? She was our Miss Brooks. Abs and she was a teacher mm -hmm. <laughs> in our Miss Brooks. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and of course, Sid Caesar was in that, and Joan Blondell. And yeah. they went, wasn't that, uh, yeah, that, I mean, it was, and, and most of it took place in school. I mean, yeah. absolutely, Greece is one of the great uh, musicals about school. I think, yeah. I, I think that that, um, and, it, and it's done it all in fun. I mean, you know, the real drama is that, you know, you, you're in love and you're not sure if it's going to work out, you know, very summer place, place but with, with a lot more laughs. And uh, yeah, Greece is a really good example. I'm glad you brought that up, Art. Really good choice. Greece John, is the word. Greece is. John, <laughs> John, but you had something, John. Share it with us, John. You had another one, John. Did I make you forget it? Oh, oh, um, uh, no! It's a classic, Mr. Holland's Opus. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, what a, a little bit of a downer, but no. you know, it kind of goes with Goodbye, Mr. Chips. 
Yeah, it's a very good Bye Mr. Chips type of film. Yeah. A little a little saccharine sweet, but you know what? At the end of the day, the center is a nice story and it only works because of the performance by Richard Dreyfus. He really delivers right. a great performance. I, oh, yeah. I think he saves the film from becoming a little too maudlin. I yeah, it's that's a that's a good one too, Mr. Holland's opus. Oh yeah. my gosh. Well, I have to agree with you on that. Uh, thank you for taking time, Matt Rubin. Uh, uh, Maryland, memory lane. Uh, that's that word memory again. It's going to get me into trouble. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think that the one thing that we can all say is that all of these films that we've spoken about and others that we have forgotten about, okay, reminded us to be true to our school. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I'm you know, these, these kinds of comments will show up in your report card, Art. I can just yeah. tell you. Oh, that, yeah. So. Uh, and by the way, that'll be a step up. Is it? Wait a minute. Is is it time for nutrition? Let's let's go have some. Let's go have some nutrition. What do you say? Well, well Art Kirsch, please report to the principal's office. Art Kirsch, please report to the principal's office. Well, guys, you know I, I, right guys I gotta, I, guys, I gotta go. But okay, our, job. Viewers, good, good. our viewers are watching us right now, and they're going, "Oh my gosh!" Here are three men, and they're performing dad jokes. This is yeah. really sad. <laughs> you know what? I think I think one of the future things, right? This time, John, should be we should do a whole piece on knock knock jokes. In any event, <laughs> be true to your school. Thank you, guys. Say good night, Gracie. Yeah. Good night, uh, good night, Gracie. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.